Love and respect, everyone. This is Roxanne Greenwich, HigherLyrics.org. Today is March 15, 2011. Get a copy of the Philadelphia Metro, the national newspaper that comes out in Philadelphia, the Metro U.S. newspaper, uh, to see our quarter page ad on the inside, back cover, in color, uh, the uh, new civil rights movement, families fight back, say no more DHS demonic horror stories, free sign up, join 70 families and growing, plan $1 billion class action lawsuit, city of Philadelphia DHS, Philadelphia family court malpractice, official corruption, fraud, civil rights, felonies inflicted upon working class student and impoverished families. No second term nutter. No second term nutter. DHS slaughtered families vote. DHS slaughtered families do vote. Cross party lines if necessary to send a clear message. Unethical, non-responsive elected officials are removed. See the debut of the existence of a constituency of voters that was not counted on that will have impact starting in this 2011 Philadelphia mayoral primary race. The primary is May 17th. Nutter, Mayor Michael Nutter is quoted as saying in the uh, Philadelphia Weekly on the cover page, written by Aaron, uh, covered by reporter Aaron Case, quote, don't worry, I got this, unquote. No one ever counted on a group of, uh, a, of, of, of victims, federal crime victims, having suffered malpractice, conflict of interest, felony crimes by official way, by official corruption, fraud, and civil rights inflicted of personal injuries, child rape, forced taxpayer paid for illegal abortions of uh, late term and live birth abortions of children raped in foster care, beatings of or by foster care contractors, forced psychotropic chemicals, medical injury, unlawful child support attachment, and so on. Let me just read what the ad says. Official corruption, fraud, civil rights, DHS slaughter, families vote. For candidates who acknowledge working class, student, and impoverished families spanning every profession, race, gender, religion, and life experience are a tragically far too large voter constituency, federal crime victim voters, created by conflict of interest, malpractice, inflicted personal injuries, theft of heritage, theft of religious freedoms, denials of due process, child abuse registry fraud, taxpayer paid for illegal abortions, unlawful child support attachments, child rape, medical error injuries, disabilities, wrongful death, career theft, obstructed education, health care, highest risk, incarceration, court-ordered mental health and bonding evaluation fraud, theft of vested interest, forced commerce, economic treason, no second term nutter. No second term nutter vote for anyone but Michael Nutter. Send a clear message that federal crime victim voters cross party lines and will only vote for those candidates who acknowledge that official corruption, fraud, civil rights exist, and that's what is destroying our American family, our U.S. and Commonwealth of Pennsylvania economy. Your donate. We have uh, no second term Michael Nutter T-shirts. A new civil rights movement. Families fight back. Say no more DHS demonic horror story T-shirts for a donation of twenty dollars. Our website is www.higherlyrics.org. You can order them online or you can order from me, Roxanne Greenwich, toll free, 888-589-1110. If you can't afford $20 for a t-shirt, try to donate when you see us in front of City Hall starting tomorrow, uh, March 16th, uh, 10 a.m., one hour before the publicly noticed uh, Philadelphia Board election meetings. Uh, try to donate at least $1. Your donations are needed to pay for one newspaper, TV, and radio ads to administrative costs so that we continue to preserve standard access to those administrative services that document rights of ownership uh, that uh, give up to that um, demonstrate an administrative solutions to the U.S. Citizens Control Public Docket Database which holds evidence with, and that can measure individual accountability submitted to highest levels of law enforcement and state prosecutors as due diligence, acting responsibly, lawfully. We are the patriotic ones. We are the ones who have acted lawfully, and we hold evidence that there are some people acting 
criminally seri in serial criminal fashion, abusing their official positioning to do so. And three, and most important, your donations of at least one dollar are needed, or as much as you can afford, to uh, so that we can have an all neighbors welcome community meeting place where everyone is welcome, regardless of who you know or what you have, where we can share learning, network solutions, act lawfully to save the soul of our city, our commonwealth, our states, our nation. Greenwich Family Rescue, Ezekiel and Ariel Brown, Roxanne Greenwich, Higher Lyrics Administrative Services, U.S. Citizens Public Docket Database, P.O. Box 22225, Philadelphia, P.A., 19136 toll free 888 589 1110. Our fax number is 215 for faxing back the forms if you want, or your proof verifications, your proof and documents and case information. Fax 215 405 2939. Website www.higherlyrics.org and slash born hyphen to hyphen serve. Roxanne Greenwich host Higher Lyrics is Born to Serve on Blog Talk Radio, Sundays 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Roxanne Greenwich's grandbabies were slaughtered in courtroom 14. Judge Robert J. Matthews with Anne Marie Ambrose, March 8, 2010. Abusive parent abducted 6810 public mob assault of Eric Brown, Sandra Sullivan, Diane Kearney, who enjoyed nepotism corruption proven in Nutter's and D.A. Seth Williams Administrations, see U.S. District Court, Pennsylvania Eastern District, 209 CV 04119 MSG, Roxanne Greenwich versus Fern Brown Kaplan Esquire et al. Through docket monitoring, development of a, a responsible series, docket never lies, child slaughter, U.S. economy fraud, court and education reform emergency was revealed in monitoring the docket of Roxanne Greenwich versus Fern Brown Kaplan Esquire et al. No second term. Nutter Nutter is presiding over taxpayer paid for illegal abortions of raped children in foster care. Live birth and late abortions performed in New Jersey because they're illegal here, but we pay for them. And taxpayers have to pay for Nutter's and DHS's uh, white collar defense firms while the plaintiffs that sue them and federal judges order them to stay away from the plaintiffs are suffering extreme acts of retaliation. Uh, and also, uh, in my case, the public mob assault of June 8th that abducted my grandchildren because of the nepotism, corruption, and the people that performed the, performed the mob assault are the uh, relatives and employees of Nutter and R. Seth Williams. Um, the, the abusive father and his girlfriend, his bigamous girlfriend, were able to leave the state with my grandchildren, all right? They were able to duck the children through acts of violence and public mob assault. Our mayor and our district attorney are under the thumb of what DHS wants and does not want their billable contractors, and they are not protecting the public safety. They have closed-door meetings with DHS, who, are, who they are official corruption, fraud, civil rights defendants in no less than 96 federal dockets here in Pennsylvania. God bless everyone. See you at City Hall tomorrow on the clothespin side, 10 a.m. God bless everyone. This is Roxanne Green. Then we're going to go into uh, 11 o'clock in the Philadelphia uh, board election meetings. Nutter never counted on a group of families, 70 and growing, 161 voices that we have now, ever that, that he left for dead as victims of a DHS family court. Court, Philadelphia family courtroom killing for a slaughter, uh, child slaughter. He left us for dead. They never counted on us becoming organized to be able to speak in one voice, move in one momentum, one voice, million slaughtered, move, navigational force, one of uh, million slaughtered. If one of us should fall, or ten of us should fall, or a hundred of us should fall, we will have. A community needs powered, personality independent mechanism in place that will automatically trigger the rescue of children of all ages destroyed by CPS corruption and government. Strongest prayers, much love and respect. This is Roxanne Greenwich. More importantly, I am Ezekiel Zaykiel Browns and Ariel Roxanne Brown, grandma, who is committed to making sure that the people who slaughtered my family, the criminals, 
never ever do it comfortably and without exposure again. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's March 15, 2011. It's Roxanne Quinnage. I'm talking to Brian Jones. I called him to uh, remind him about the Metro Philly ad. No second term nutter debu debuted today in the Metro Philadelphia newspaper and how we're going to be downtown a, a group of federal crime victims who finally, instead of um, being scattered as victims, DHS slaughtered, we're organizing our voter clout so that we show up as a voice uh, that was not expected in this election. Mayor Michael Nutter is in the Philadelphia Weekly last week, written by Aaron Case on the cover page, Say, don't worry, I got that. He's smug, he's confident. He said, I got this. Don't worry, he's smug, he's overconfident, and he's very cocky, and nobody counted on the, the families that were left dead by DHS corruption with Mayor Michael Nutter. Nutter and DHS are, the, um, are, fe are official corruption fraud civil rights defendants in several federal lawsuits where the families that complain about them, the plaintiffs are also suffering extreme retaliation while the taxpayers have to pay for Nutter's white-collar defense law firm fee. So... With all that going on, I called uh, Brian, and he's got some more bad news about poor little Jasmine Kitchen. Go ahead, Brian. Yeah, the mother, they did this thing before in a place called Bethana. And uh, we complained so much, they closed Bethana down, but they sent it to another place. This place where they got at now, she was always, around the kids was always the littlest kids that they sent in these adult places. And uh, one of the places that they sent uh, Jasmine to, they wouldn't let her wear clothes. So only perverts were running around there. So, so she complained this time. They sent her to another one of perverts paradise. She complained to her mother. This man was telling her and a little girl over there what kind of big butt and, and uh, uh, how big their titties was. So when she complained to her mother, the mother tried to speak to the whoever was running there say a perverts paradise place, a place. And they told the mother that she complained too much. I guess the federal judge said they ain't beating that. What we're saying is true, just complaining too much. So now Jan was saying they're doing the, they're doing the other old thing again. They're not letting the staff be on the case, be, uh, be on her. Uh, they're letting the, uh, the older people up, the older older inmates or whatever they is, abuse her. So the mother called me crying this morning, so I guess this is another re there was another group of retaliation since we won't sign the papers that the uh, Milton Brothers, Burns and Brothers, uh, keep trying to stamp, uh, burn down, uh, cram down our throat. I guess they, I guess that's because they done made a deal with the devil and we want, and they can't, as long as she don't sign the papers, as long as Veronica don't sign the papers, that they can't produce what they want, what they, uh, promise to sit in another number city world for, again. Yeah, Veronica Spencer, Brian Jones, and Little Jasmine Kitchen, and her sister Malika Anderson, and other children, their siblings, are plaintiffs where Nutter with DHS is the prime defendant, official corruption, fraud, civil rights. Now, Brian, this is important. Do you know where Jasmine is now? What is the name of that contractor, that DHS contractor? Do you know? I, I don't have it on me now, but it's the same one that I gave you the, uh, the last time I talked to you when they said that thing. I'm oh, yeah, okay, I got that, I got that. It's not Kids Peace, it's the other one. It's the uh, one up in the Allentown, right? Yeah, the other one, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, I looked out. I'm going to call you back anyway. I'll bring it down there tomorrow. Uh, she, I told her, I told her mother. If this thing goes through, I'm going to call you back and say, what was in on this? She ain't there no more. I told her to call her, call whoever she got the head of the, uh, the, uh, public welfare and tell them what they're going to do. If they're going to allow the same kind of corruption to go on now, that, 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 Kidnapped her again. Do you know the names of anybody on that for individual accountability? I, I don't have a name, but I'll bring you. I, I, I'll call you back with it. 